Hey there, this is Ray with Ray's Guide, and I'm doing a quick little video here to follow up on my previous uh, video about Xeno Threat. Uh, a couple extra hints and tips here. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say I'm seeing you guys out there doing the picker and loader division of labor and really looking excellent at it. Uh, looks like you're a professional Sater ball team out there, or that there ought to be Swan Lake playing in the background. But anyhow, it's looking real good out there. I see some of these guys loading up these, these big ships real quick. Uh, but I'm still seeing some mistakes out there, and I thought I would do a couple quick quick hints here to, to follow up. The first is uh, have some spare tractor beams. If you, something untoward happens and you're holding your multi-tool, you will drop it and you will lose it. And so rather than having to make that long trip back to the refinery deck to pick up another one, just have some spare multi-tools. And if you don't need them yourself, you can hand them across somebody that does and they'll thank you for it. Now, now I'm seeing that since you're so efficient is that it is indeed possible to put your yellows, your blues, and your greens all in the same ship, but it still is not a wise thing to do. Uh, it is literally putting all your eggs in one basket. And the second thing is that you can do two trips with the, the greens and the blues by the time the yellow trip has just made his, his way there. So the smart thing to do, this is the wise thing, is to load up the yellows in one ship first and get that slow boat on its way. And while it's pitter-puttering along back to, the, uh, back to Jericho, you can be loading up the blues and the greens and you'll still have a chance to get that fast ship there and back in time before the yellow has a chance to do that. Now... The next thing I'm seeing, now the biggest mistake I'm seeing out there, guys, is that you're all trying to crowd around the opening of the star fair, and you're bumping into each other and causes all sorts of troubles and havocs. And I can't say I'm entirely blameless in this regard as well. But it's more important to be lined up with the door than to be up close. And, and the reason is it should be pretty obvious. Your tractor beam can shove those boxes a great distance. So the most important thing is just get lined up, get that box going there. And if, even if you can't reach the whole way, you just let go and momentum will take it the rest of the way. It's like having Sir Isaac Newton as your cargo buddy. But that way you're not bumping into each other and causing all sorts of troubles. Now, I know some people are trying to get up close so that they don't have to EVA a long distance to get to the uh the door of the the, the star fair wreck but you don't have to worry about that if you use tractor eva so in other words if you're out floating in space and you point at something that's way heavier than you you are going to get pulled to it so if you jump out of your ship point your, your tractor beam at that big old wreck click the button and you're going to be flying across there at a eye popping speed in fact it's always a good idea to let up on the trigger a little bit early and then take yourself the last few meters uh, with short bursts so that you don't do, uh, you know, a bug splat against the side of a wreck. Then you do the same thing on the way back. And again, just be careful, just do a little short bursts at the end. So you don't have to worry that much about the distance between your ship and the dock because that tractor beam EVA will take care of that real swat, real fast, real fast. So stay out there, stay safe. I'll see you around the verse. This is Ray with Ray's Guide.